Hey, Steve Zook here, trying to show this LH700. My batteries weren't, went dead in the last one. Um, you know, I know that I say all my 700s are like one of the best I've ever had, and I finally figured out why I say that, because they're all such great guitars. Here's the situation, is every 700 seems to have its own kind of magic. I mean, one of them, like this one, sounds more like an early 30s Gibson L5, you know, meets an Epiphone Deluxe. Some of them have a little bit bigger reverb. You know, some of them are a little more epiphonish. I mean, they all sound just unreal. They all have their own kind of unique magic. Even Chet Atkins said, you know, no two guitars ever come out the same. And I think that's why I get so excited. This one has really nice flame on the back of the neck, and it just sounds beautiful. But this one seems to have a really nice kind of a, uh, like I said, an early 30s Gibson L5 meets like an epiphone you know, arch top, you know, it just sounds beautiful. And I barely played this guitar. I just took it to the mountains and it filled up a whole cabin. But I don't play these much. I play them a little bit to kind of help them open up a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, th these are just massive, massive value. I mean, really, I, I used to deal, deal in nothing but high-end arch tops for about 10 years and, uh, you know, sold a lot of collectors that were very successful people that had, you know, a lot of guitars and some of them hundreds of thousands of dollars to a million dollar collections and almost every one of them uh, bought, you know, like a 700 from me and maybe a 650 because the value, I mean, this this will blow away a 34 reissue Gibson L5 because those are not violin voice. This is violin voice. And now the, the reverb's already starting to take off on this a little bit. You have to play these a little bit to open them up. And the fact they even sound great right out of the box is amazing. But yeah, the more you play it, they start to open up even more. My fingers are a little, a little uh, sore right now, so it's really hard for me to play much, so I, I can't do a very long demo on this, but if you've always wanted a great arch top and you've always wondered about these, they're not just a great guitar for the money, they're really great guitars. I've had a lot of people buy them just said, man, these are a steal for $14.99. I hate to use that word, but it's true. I can hear the reverb starting to open up. I apologize for my lousy playing. I just, the ends of my fingers are really sore right now, so it's really hard for me to play, to be real honest with you, so. Uh. I'm not doing that. This guitar really has a voice. Hear how, how the sound kind of just jumps out there? I mean, each note just pops out like a celebration. It's got a certain organic integrity is the only word I could use in audio file term. Right? This is a sweet one, man, I'm telling you. stop right there but yeah if you've always wanted a great I mean give yourself permission to buy yourself a great gift I mean this is a smart buy this is not like one of those stupid impulse buys that we've all made where we, where we buy something and it's go man you know I didn't really research it that much it doesn't seem like a good, good value this is something that transcends the smoke and mirror marketing bullshit out there where most stuff is so hyped and you're paying so much for the expensive promotion that the company does in their marketing with this company, they put most of their money into the guitars and they build kind of brick by brick. But uh, I'm telling you, man, this is an amazing value. This is one of those guitars 20 years from now, you'll be so happy you bought it. And I believe it will be worth a lot of money. I, I've always been a bit ahead of the curve on that. A lot of people actually have made a lot of money taking my recommendations, but this is really a nice one. I think this particular LH700 just has a lot of clarity and has, has a lot of pianistic clarity, a lot of pianistic overtones. 
Um, like I said, every 700 is a little bit different, but this, this one is really nice. Like I said, every one has its own magic. This one has nice pianistic overtones, has really great clarity. The reverb's starting to open up even more as I'm playing it, but it just has, a, like I said, it kind of has like the early 30s L5 meets kind of the Epiphone bark. But with more, but with more clarity, this guitar has more clarity than the Epiphone or the Gibson L5. That's because of the violin voicing. They really do a good job, and they've had the same violin carvers working with them for quite a while now. This, this is an unbelievable guitar. I'd like to play it more, but like I said, my fingers are sore um, from playing way too much and doing other things. So, anyway, call me if you're interested. This this is an unbelievable guitar. Comes with a $250 hard shell case, seven ply cross grain, super thick velour green padding, looks beautiful. I mean, th this guitar would be a really good value at 3000 I mean, a really good value. I did I did nothing but sell high-end arch tops for about 10 years. I really know them. I'm considered by many to be an expert on them. But I mean, for $1499, this is really, really an opportunity to make a really, really smart buy, even if you have to go a little bit beyond your comfort zone and maybe you have to sell a couple other things, grab this guitar while it's here. You will really be happy. It really, really has a voice. I'm trying to get that to dance for you a little bit. All right, take care, folks. Bye-bye.